Hey, friendos, welcome back to my channel. Um, the last video I posted, there was a lot going on and I just thought that maybe I would just kind of recap in one video just because so much is going on. So today is February 25th, it's Friday, and Monday I will be going to my surgeon and they will tell me what the biopsy results are. At this moment, my gut is telling me the one in my bottom is cancer, just because the simple fact that instead of on the outside of it, it's on the inside now, same spot, just the only thing that's really crazy, it's slow growing, but I don't know, there's like a couple things that make me think maybe it's been around for a while, um, little TMI, but when I would womanscape, uh, I noticed it was a bit sensitive down there. I just figured it was nerve damage, but maybe that was pressing against it. I don't know. It's really hard. Like I try not to be like, oh, I should have, you know, said something then or whatever. But looking at the whole picture now, it kind of just makes sense. But honestly, what did it for me was when I, I touched the outside of my bottom and felt, okay, there's something there. So all these other little things are just kind of hits and misses and assumptions. So I'm really trying not to beat myself up. I did it when it was obvious there was something like ding ding obvious, you know, so, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to give myself any gruff. Uh, so yeah, I, the one in, I, so there's three total, apparently there's one posterior and anterior in my abdomen and those like, I don't even know. I, I don't know what to think about those. I'm thinking maybe it's an infection, just the simple fact that I have this nasal thing going on and so I don't know maybe something just got inside my body that was some kind of fungus and those things are growing I don't know I'm not really sweating it about those I guess why I'm so worried about the one is because I, I feel it all the time you know I have pillows propped up right now so I can sit straight and talk to you it's very uncomfortable at the moment sort of borderline painful uh, but it is what it is so when I went to my nasal doctor thing, head and neck doctor to go over this nasal thing, uh, there's still a polyp in there, still pus and fungus, sorry y'all. And so he doesn't want, in the event that I maybe have to do chemo, he doesn't want to do anything until he knows because if I am, in a, if I am going to go on chemo, he does not want this to be in my system still because my immunity are, is already being suppressed with this thing going on right now. So remove that and then shortly after would be whatever we have to do. I am just hoping and praying that I make it to Viva Las Vegas because I mean, y'all voted for me, y'all believe in me. I believe in myself. I wanna go to this thing. I wanna represent hip amputees and amputees and encourage everybody to follow their dreams try everything at least once, you know, don't be afraid to fail. I have so many things happening every single day of that event. On Thursday, I'm holding a disability meeting. Friday, I'm going to be in two fashion shows. Saturday is the pinup contest. Sunday is the bathing suit contest. And all in between there is shenanigans and fun. And I want to be a part of it. So I'm really hoping and praying that if it's safe to push it back, we can push it back. If I do surgery and then start the therapies, you know, after, fine. I have like 48 days. So I just, I hate that it's so close, but so far away, you know, it's like, ugh. So as far as me going on chemo, I have a very different mindset than I did last time we were going around this, assuming that it is cancer. I am not afraid of the port anymore. If applesauce, come here, applesauce. I was terrified of the thought of it and it made me just sick to my stomach. I just ugh, don't like things like, ugh, it's gross. And so, hi baby boy, he's a baby boy. Uh, I'm not really upset with losing my hair like I once was. I have found many awesome wigs as you've seen and whatever, I can look like my husband. Uh, and you know, I just, 
I'm not as scared as I used to be. I'm more irritated. I'm irritated that I have to go through all of this again. I'm irritated that I have to put my life on hold for the moment. I have been just going, going, going. And so many things have just been bing, 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 like one after the other, like just awesome, wonderful things have been happening back to back to back. And I don't want to stop. I just want to keep going. And now I have to stop and deal with this nonsense. And it's frustrating. So mentally I'm doing okay. I'm sure Monday morning I may change how I feel. I may be scared and frightened and worried and everything else. But as of right now, I just want answers. I'm, I'm tired of waiting. I'm not a patient person. I am going to go to the appointment by myself. I have many people that are willing to go with me, but for some reason, I just really want to go alone this time. And if I change my mind morning of, I have people that will come with me a drop of the hat. So thank y'all. Uh, so yeah, I just, <sighs> I just hope things can move fast and things are not super like serious, you know, and I can just continue having my fun and get back to my life. So I just would like to take a moment and thank every one of you for your continued support. Uh, all the awesome pinup community that have been reaching out to me and supporting me through this has been so awesome. I love the sisterhood. I always say that, but I really do. I just it's just a beautiful thing to have this kind of community and support and friendship. Like I'm friends with everybody. Like I love it. So anyway, I will go ahead and upload this and then I will include what's going on later. I don't know how scheduling is going to be with video uploading guys. I just, I need to do what's best for me and sometimes I feel stressed out like pushing these things out every week so you know just bear with me you know I'm not leaving I just things might be a little sporadic I do post a lot on my Instagram and so uh, you're free to follow me there I post a lot more than on here I post just about daily not always uh, so yeah anyways I will be back I hope that I can come back and give you all wonderful news. So we'll just hold on to that for a moment. And until then, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey everybody, I am at the doctor's and I'm about to go in. <sighs> Literally like, I felt like I was walking the plank and that's not a good way to have a mindset but literally felt like I was walking to my own doom trying to get out of the house and get here but um just had some prayer and I feel better whatever happens I'm going to choose joy I am by myself I chose to be by myself this time and I brought a pen and pad of paper and I'm gonna record the conversation and um just hoping for the best so at this moment i'm okay just my appointment is in 10 minutes so i better start walking i'll be back sometime to update y'all okay here we go hey everybody i'm back um <clears throat> Um, yeah, it's back. The cancer's back. Um, they seem very concerned. So, I'm concerned. Um, they're wanting to do uh, either systemic, systemic, I think, or... Um, chemo therapy first hopefully to shrink it and get rid of it before they have to do surgery because the surgery would be very difficult very complicated and um yeah 
It was kind of hard. I felt like they were a little bit unemotional. And I've known these people for many years now. So, but it's got to be hard being a, a person to, to deliver bad news. So I'll give them grace, but I just kind of was hoping for a little bit of comfort from them. <laughs> um, it looks like the tumor got bigger. And there's three, there could be more. So I'm supposed to wait to hear from the chemo doctor. If I don't hear from them by Friday, then I need to call and schedule chemo right away or whatever they're going to do. The only thing is that um, this type of cancer may not respond to um, treatment. So that's scary. And then if surgery is difficult, you know, what does that look like? That doesn't look good. So, um, I'm going to call my pastor and see if I can go hang out with them for a little bit. <laughs>